Welcome back guys to another beer review, the second one of Saturday. I got my old mate back here, Beaker. Uh, it's a bit cold for him, so he's decided to hibernate indoors now. Well, he's normally indoors somewhere, but stay in the warm rooms here. So he's coming here with me to do a beer review with me. So uh, yeah, it's good to have you back. Happy chappy. Happy chappy. He didn't say much either, does he? Anyway, before we get going on uh, this beer review now, uh, important announcement sort of thing. Scott and Wonder from Scott and Wonder's World uh, doing a live charity video stream, live stream, charity, live stream, however I'm going to say, doing a live stream anyway for charity uh, two weeks from today. What is the date? What's the date today? 13th, 27th, 27th of February. They're doing a 12 hour live stream for charity starting at midday, finishing at uh, midnight. Uh, it's for the Great Ormond Street Hospital. Uh, they've got issues going on in their life and with their family, I'm going to say. Uh, I won't go into detail. I'll leave Scott through that. But they, they want to raise money for the Great Ormond Street Hospital. So uh, there's going to be lots of guests on the on the live stream. I think they're doing some silly challenges. They're going to be shaving beards off. They're going to be shaving hair off, I think, and all this lot. So please go along and watch. Uh, and if you can, make a donation. Help them out. I'm sure they'll really appreciate that. Uh, I know he's got a few different people going on so uh, so yeah make a note of that and give him some support either if you've got 12 hours to kill do it for 12 hours or even if you just sit and watch for half hour or something and uh, maybe give a donation for what you can afford so uh, so yeah that's it so let's get that out of the way now it's time for uh, another beer review like I said I feel all tucked up here I do apologize big dinner excuse me <laughs> Don't me bell so yeah we're on with another beer review now uh, and we've got uh, a ruby ale coming up now and it's from Adnams or Adnams why is I always say Adnams I don't know Adnams Brewery and this is a bottle of their broadside and like I say it's a ruby ale and it's coming in at 6.3 percent uh, 500 ml bottle this was part of a three for five pound from a local independent supermarket I picked up three different ones of theirs, so obviously to do reviews and things I haven't tried. So uh, yeah, so we'll crack on. Nice little different, it's slightly different bottle shape there. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I know Beaker is a big fan of Adnams. Uh, he's had many, he, he's, he's an expert compared to me on these beers. So I think that's also why he wanted to pop along and join in. So yeah, love the old artwork on all their beers. Love the bottle cap as well. A little bit of branding on there. So let's get this out of the bottle. Get into a glass, see what we get. Going with a local brewery glass today, Stonehouse Brewery. So give them a shout out. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with it. I've chatted so much now. You're probably falling asleep for a change. So uh, let's see what we get with this one. I'll leave a bit of a gap so I can maybe try and give it a bit of a swill. I'm trying to get a decent view of it in the light. It's looking probably sort of chestnut sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it's got a ruby tinge to it uh, from what I can see, I would say. Can't see no carbonation. You never can with the dark beers. We've got about half a finger. Yeah, half a finger of slightly off white creamy head on top. I mean, it looks all right at the moment. So we'll dive in with the nose, see what we get. Cheers. I'm carried away there. Cheers, I'm only sniffing. Yeah. Uh, reminds me of like a Christmas cake in a way. Malty, big sort of raisiny, raisin sort of aroma to it, like a fruit cake, as I say. Hint of sweetness maybe in there, just a, just a hint, not much. But smells all right, so without further ado, let's get the rest out of the bottle. Get it in there. And uh, we'll go in for the kill, won't we, Beaker? Cheers. Cheers. Oh. First mouthful there, 
through the head and that really smooth, really smooth to drink. Lovely mouthfeel, nice and soft. Oh, that's lovely. That is absolutely lovely. 6.3%, don't know if I didn't say, I uh, can't remember. You're not getting 6.3% there, no. No way, that's drinking around 5%, I would say. A uh, little bit of, bit of bitterness. It's, I'm getting it's lingering on the back end. It's not really getting it to start off with. As the beer's gone, I'm getting that right on the back end. On the front, might as well tell you what's happening on the front. Carbonation in it is almost non-existent. It's like really compact little sort of bubbles going off in your mouth. Gives it a beautiful mouth feel. Very rich, very malty. You're getting a hint of the hops with that bitterness. The bitterness is just on the back end. It's not, it's not huge, but you are getting it. Almost maybe like a warm sort of, I'm trying to think, earthy maybe taste to it. Lovely body to the beer as well. Really nice. I'm getting, I'm getting more fruitcake uh, sort of thing on the nose and I think I am really in the taste. It's all, I don't know, earthy, chocolatey, sort of toffee sort of notes. Then it's hard to display, uh, explain. But what I can say is this is an absolutely cracking traditional beer. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. And I've got to admit, it's one I would definitely pick up again. I, I just think that's really nice. I'm, I'm loving the traditional beers at the moment it's it's a little bit of a change uh, and no doubt come the summer when I start picking up a, a, a few more sort of like New England IPAs pale hours they're going to come into their own a bit with the weather but this on today on such a cold day is an absolute belter and one I would definitely pick up again uh, and I can see why this old chap uh, loves the old Adnam stuff so yeah for me that's the thumbs up and if you like your traditional ales, I think that is an absolute cracker. Uh, just just really nice and drinkable. And just nothing offensive in it. Just just nice taste in there. So uh, for me, well worth a purchase. So uh, anyone out there, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Hopefully you're still enjoying me reviews. I think I've been a little bit boring lately. Hopefully I'm trying to make things a little bit more Ooh, razzmatazz hopefully he's helping with that uh so that's it for this beer review so thanks for watching everyone thanks for all the subscribers and all that lot uh don't forget again like i say tune in on the 27th of uh february uh 12 o'clock 12 hour live stream with scott and wonder all for charity show me love and uh that's it for this video so uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you again very soon cheers